Got him. Yeah. No sense at all of us going to jail. Yeah. So here we are in sunny South Florida, and we've come to hunt iguanas. That's right, iguanas, known to be the chicken of the trees. So we're going to, to catch them, and not just kill them and throw them away, but we're actually gonna attempt to skin them and eat them and make iguana tacos. Let's see what happens. Stay tuned. And so, myself, my wife, and my kiddos, we are off to catch ourselves a lizard. And that's my Uncle Doug. Let's just say he's my titan and my partner when it comes to the great outdoors. If you haven't had the opportunity to travel to South Florida, come face to face with these reptiles. They are everywhere. And it didn't take us too long to spot our first iguana. Grab by the neck, not the left. Iguanas are attracted to any type of vegetation and love to hang out in the trees in the brush. So we got in a boat just to get out of the boat for a closer look. Oh, and shout out to my amazing wife, Veronica, for holding down the camera. This is killing my arms. And this is when you know you're dedicated, is when you start sticking your head in holes not knowing what's in them. But nobody was home. Back in the boat, and we're off to our next stop. Iguanas are very destructive and a big problem in South Florida, mainly because they thrive in subtropical climates. Ruining structures at businesses and homes, destroying lawns, gardens, and flower beds. So me and my family, we are here to help. And we spotted our first iguana right there in those trees. Right on the head. See him? He's finding it, but it's it's just swaying back and forth, so he's losing it. So he finds them, and then the boat moves. The boat is moving. Well, iguana's lucky day. We're moving on. Got him. As you can see in here, Veronica didn't take shooting the iguana so well. We'll be back to the shot in a moment, but first, she was a little down, so we decided to have a little fun with her. You did so good, babe. Yes. Are you joking? Yes. Are you joking? I don't have a permit. You have a permit? That's why I said leave the cameras at home. See me stick it staying behind the camera? I just put my hat over my face every time I get near the camera. Somebody's got to bail you guys out. <laughs> Dave, so you're the one who shot him, though. Yeah, we might get off easy. I think we were on camera. Officer, she had the weapon. What are we going to tell her? No? <laughs> Iguana hunting is 100% legal in South Florida. They are considered invasive and because they are not native to Florida, they lack natural predators, which is the reason for the overpopulation. And they are feeding on the natural habitat that makes South Florida the closest thing we get to tropical in the States. Oh my gosh, he got him. Good. Got him. Good job. Guys, you guys gotta Stop get right out of down. 
You don't see the oh big word? Yeah, I do. I see him. He's waiting on me. Get him out of the way, son. Get him out of the way. Hold I don't want to try to let him go. Good teamwork, boys. Yeah, over here. So bring, over here, please. Come on, come over this way, man. Five foot male iguana. Beautiful. Yeah. Only in South Florida. Only in South Florida. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Let us know in the comments what other challenges you would like myself, my family, or friends to take on.